Hey, so today we're going to be doing a follow-up to the title and description edits that we did in the last video. And this one is going to be editing inventory icons. So um, at the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to edit the icon of any of the in-game items that you're trying to replace with your new mod. All right, to start, we're going to need uh, a few tools. You'll need the Yazo decryption and encryption tool as well as BFRES tool and of course you'll need Photoshop, uh, Paint.net or GIMP and of course you'll need that to be doing all the image manipulation to make the new icon that you're replacing uh, the old one with look like whatever item your mod is. Alright let's begin. So you want to start in your mod directory. Here we have uh, Funi's Regenerate t-shirt mod that she made me. Uh, not too long ago, which looks absolutely amazing. Uh, we can check out a picture of it here. So as it stands right now, this t-shirt is actually a replacement for the Nintendo Switch t-shirt uh, DLC item that came in the first downloadable content pack. Um, and it looks absolutely awesome. It's just that in game we have a picture of the red Nintendo Switch shirt and we don't want that. And currently the original text description is there as well. So um, at a later date, I might go through and change that using my previous tutorial. But for now, what we want to do is close out of this. And so this is our main model uh, directory. And of course, we have the model SBFRES file that's the actual mesh for. Um, the t-shirt mod and of course it's the same for any item uh, in our text one texture SBF res file and that's the new texture that Funi made for the t-shirt so we want to kick up one level because we're not actually doing anything with these files because these are completely done as is so we go up and we want to make a new directory and that's going to be called UI so make a UI directory and hop in there and this is where you can copy and paste your Yazo decryption and encryption tools uh, because we're going to be working out of this directory. The next thing you want to do is open up Zelda Breath of the Wild, the actual game, because we're going to go into um, the content and UI and I believe the item icon is under stock item. You want to go in here. Um, what we want to do right now is actually find the icon for that item. And so the Nintendo Switch t-shirt is Armor 170. So we can just do a search for that. Armor 170. And here we go. Armor 170 upper. Uh, it's dot SB item ICO. So item icon. So we want to copy this and we can once however you want to copy it I just want to make sure it's copied uh, once it's copied we can go back to our directory so let's go back in and where am I going into modding uh, mod testing Foonies t-shirt UI so we want to go back into our original uh, directory and paste that file here. So this is the original file. This is what we're going to be using. Of course, we're going to unpack this and take the image out and edit the DDS file inside of it using Photoshop or paint.net or GIMP or whatever you want to use. And then we're going to package it back up and put it back in the game, part of our mod pack. So let's do that. The first thing we want to do is decrypt this. So take this file and click and drag it over the Yazo decryption ex executable and let it go. It's gonna do its thing, hit run. There we go, it outputs a .rark file. We want to rename this file, so just hit F2 or right click and go down to rename. And we can delete the rark and do bfres as an extension and hit enter and say yes, we wanna do that. Next thing we want to do is extract the DDS file from the BFRES file. So to do this, we're going to use another one of our tools called BFRES. So you can open up BFRES just like this. And here we go. This is BFRES. So you go to file and hit open 
and we want to find that newly um, de, uh, decrypted BFRES file, which was originally the dark work. So let's search for it here. And there it is. So click on your file, hit open. It's going to say done. Now don't do anything else with this program. Just leave this open exactly as it is. We're going to come back to it in a moment. The next thing you want to do is take a look. We have our DDS file right here. So I actually have paint.net installed. Um, so when I double click this, it's going to open paint.net. And as you can see, here's the Nintendo Switch t-shirt. So let's just zoom in on this. So there it is. It's totally up to you how you manipulate this image. You can see that there's a stock model that Nintendo put in uh, for all of these armor pieces. And they just kind of use this template and overlay uh, the item over top of them. So we're going to do something similar to this. Uh, I'm actually going to package up a template that's going to have a little model image just like this. And you can just kind of like um, Photoshop your armor over top of it and use something like that if you're doing a t-shirt. Since this is a uh, t-shirt uh, in upper torso mod, uh, we'll use something like this. At a later date, I'll release a full pack that will have um, the legs and the feet and I'll also come out with a head dummy. We'll call it a dummy because dummy, that's really what it is. It's a mannequin uh, that they're using, an image of a mannequin, and they're putting armor and weapons and all that stuff on top of it. So I'll release that so you guys have access to that as well. Uh, but I'm going to manipulate this image and I'll be right back. We'll skip ahead in time and we'll come back to when this is done and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so I just want to show you guys really quickly. Here's the original DDS file open in paint.net. And uh, I just took a few minutes and I took a snapshot from the game and photoshopped uh, the new Regenerate t-shirt over top of the model, the icon that was previously being used. So we're going to save this file out. We actually have it set as a uh, PNG right now and we're gonna overlay that file so I'm just gonna bring this back over and give me a sec to open everything back up here that I accidentally closed model we'll go up back into UI and where's paint.net here it is so I've saved uh, my edits out as a PNG and I th think this is the file nope that's the original maybe I didn't save it out yet let's save it so here it is, that's our new file. We want to click and drag this into our DDS file. Paint.net will ask us what do we want to do with the file. We can open it separately. Uh, if you wanted to do more edits in Paint.net, you could do that, but I did everything in Photoshop. So we want to click on add layer, hit okay. So there we go. Uh, let's get rid of that. Now I always actually delete this original file and I rename this to the same thing that it was named as before, which is just background. All right, so we have our new updated image in the original DDS file, which is great. The next thing we want to do is save this. So go to save as, and we want to save as a DDS, and hit save. It's going to ask you if you want to replace it, say yes. Now this is really important right here. Um, so you have to make sure that you are selecting the proper compression for the DDS file. And you want to select, which one is it? Uh, 8 R8, B8, G8, R8. So I think that's it there. Um, it's A8, B8, G8, R8. Click on that. Um, and I think everything else is fine. We don't want to generate maps. And we're just going to hit OK. And so it's going to save this file over top of the original one that we extracted. So let's go OK. Great. So we can minimize this right now. And this edited 
file is now in the original DDS. So, and we'll test that. Let's just close this out and open this back up. And there we go, there's the original. Now we left BF Res Tool open before, and we did that because uh, it extracts our DDS file, and then it also the second function of it allows us to replace it with our updated one. So as long as you left this open, like I instructed you to do previously, what you want to do is click Replace Armor. Uh, so click that, and that is our new file that we're replacing it with. So click on the new armor underscore 70 upper DDS and hit open and it will say done. So that's great. So what it just did there is it re-injected our newly updated DDS file with the updates uh, with, our, with our edited image. And that is going to be in the new BFRES file. All right, so to avoid any confusion, we're gonna go through here because we have a few files here. So here's our edited DDS file. We don't really need that. Um, how should we do this to avoid confusion? I wanna move some things around because there are a few files here and I don't want anybody to be confused. So let's just do create a new directory and go working files and we'll put our armor DDS file in there. Uh, our PNG that we don't need can go in there. Our PSD file, that's where I did all the edits, that can move. Uh, this is the original uh, icon file. Now this is gonna be overwritten. And if you're worried about making mistakes and you don't wanna go into through, you know, go through the entire process of finding the icon again, you can go through here into file and just type in original file. I like to do that sometimes, it's just easier to um, keep everything contained and organized like that. I should have done it from the beginning. So let's see here, uh, another one of our PNGs, I'm gonna dump that into working files. So this is a lot cleaner now. Um, at this point, all you're gonna have to do is re-encrypt this BFRES uh, icon file. And of course, we just use BFRES tool to inject our new texture into it. So take this file and bring it over top of the Yazo encryption executable and let it do its thing. And it'll pump out this new file with the .yazo extension. What we want to do is uh, rename this. So hit F2 and we want to get rid of the bfres.yazo extension. So it's gonna have the original name of the original file, which is armor underscore 170 underscore upper dot SB ITEM item ICO icon zero. Hit enter. Guess we're sure we wanna change it. And let's just double check it with the original file. Uh, so this is just uh, SP item ICO. So this has a zero on it. Obviously, that's not what we want. We want to rename it because it has to be exactly the same. Shouldn't have a zero. Hit enter. There we go. So this item, uh, sorry, this file right here is our new icon file. So what we want to do from here is copy and paste it into our semi directory, which of course uh, is going to be the UI directory. So I'll show you the entire uh, structure up here. When you download one of these mods, ideally, uh, as I think I might've said before, you'd have the model directory, uh, which would hold your mesh, the updated mesh, whatever it is for whatever model it's replacing. For this, it's a t-shirt. So of course the model's in here, the texture's in here. Uh, you don't need to have a sample PNG. Funi just put that in there because it looks really cool and she probably put it on Game Banana like that or wherever she uh, uh, is hosting it. And then you have the UI folder which has things like your icons in it. Now all this stuff, you're not gonna want all these working files and original files, all the backup and all that stuff in here and your tools. So let's delete these tools you know what, actually I'm gonna undo that because what I'm going to do is make a new directory. This is gonna be like the final mod. We'll just call it final mod. And this would be the directory that we um, 
zip up and upload somewhere. So you can call yours whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to copy the files back in here. So in model, we have our model, we have the texture, we don't need the PNG, let's get rid of that. Let's go up the directory, go into UI. Uh, the original file and working files, obviously we don't need those, let's get rid of that. Uh, we don't need the tools, let's get, of these, get rid of these. And the BFRES file, that's not needed anymore. Let's get rid of that. And all we have is the icon. So the other thing that you do at this point is maybe create a pack directory. And of course, all of your, whoops, all of your um, text edits for the titles and description would go into pack. We're not covering that in this tutorial. Of course, I did that in the last tutorial, so that's gonna be linked uh, up above here and maybe in the text description and the cards at the end. So if you want to edit your text descriptions for your mods, you can uh, go check that tutorial out and you'll be able to do it like that. But for the most part, this is what your mod directory is gonna look like. Model, pack for your descriptions, and the UI for your icon, and whatever else you're um, dealing with. So these three things we want to copy, and we're gonna bring it over into Semu. And so this t-shirt is actually already in my testing directory of Semu, and I have that right here. So I'm gonna go into UI and stock item, and this is actually an icon that I made for the Great Fairy Sword. So this armor, uh, which is our newly updated t-shirt icon, is gonna sit with it. And if you have Semu running, which I currently do, you're gonna to wanna to turn that off and reset it, and I'll see you in just a moment once we get back into the game. All right, so we're back into Semu. Let's uh, jump into my save game here. All right, here we are back in the game. So let's jump into our inventory and make sure that our changes took place. And there we go. We're under armor and there's the new icon. And I've even went ahead and changed the title and the description of the Regenerate t-shirt. So now it's called the Regenerate Emblem Shirt. Crafted by a mystic queen from a faraway land and blessed by the realm of Sage Master, this symbol is worn by those of an eclectic tribe with adventurous ambitions. Wear it with pride. And we will. So there we are guys. And it's as simple as that. Pretty quick tutorial just to show you how to do this. And again, anybody who's wanting to uh, figure out how to do the text descriptions can follow along with that tutorial, which I'll have posted linked in the video description and at the end of this video as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comments below. Make sure to jump over to the Zelda Breath of the Wild mods Reddit page. If you have questions as well, we can answer them there. Alternatively, uh, you can jump into the Regenerate Discord server and I'll help you there. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of people, a huge community of Zelda Breath of the Wild modders. And I'll also link to that Discord in my description. So until next time guys, uh, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Guys, give me feedback. If you like this type of content, please let me know in the comments below. Give the video a like, and if you're not already subscribed, please do so. I have a lot of new ideas for different content on the way. Make sure to also hop into the Regenerate Discord server. We have a great community full of passionate members that just keeps on growing. It's really the place to be. So come join us and see what the community is really all about. That's all for now guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.